Former Denver Broncos wide receiver Emmanuel Sanders has just announced his retirement after a 12-year career in the NFL. This news is obviously a downer for Denver fans as the athlete spent six seasons playing for the team and also helped them win Super Bowl 50. Join us in today's video where we look at the storied career of Emmanuel Sanders and everything that's led up to his retirement. Starting with Emmanuel Sanders announces retirement. 12 incredible seasons and a Super Bowl championship later, veteran wide receiver Emmanuel Sanders is officially signing his retirement papers. The ex-Denver Broncos star announced his decision via an Instagram post where he told fans he has no regrets and feels he's had a fulfilling career. Sanders wrote, I gave the game everything I had and it treated me well, which is why I'm happy with my decision. He followed that up with a statement by thanking his teammates, coaches, family, friends, and everyone that helped him along his journey to become one of the very best in the league. Though Sanders didn't get to play his last season with the Broncos moving to San Francisco via trade in 2019, he did get to retire as one. The athlete signed a one-day contract with Denver so he could retire wearing the same team jersey he won the Super Bowl in. Now doesn't that just melt your heart? A video was also posted on the Broncos' official social media where Sanders discussed some of his favorite moments from his career. He talked about his time playing for the Steelers, Broncos, 49ers, Saints, and Bills and his three Super Bowl appearances in the video. Moving on, let's take a career retrospective. Emmanuel Sanders will definitely go down in history as one of the NFL's most accomplished wide receivers. Let's take a look at how the athletes over a decade-long career panned out. First up, the college days. During his time at SMU, Sanders was considered to be a great receiver, a pattern that would carry on for the rest of his career. He caught 285 passes for 3,791 yards and 34 touchdowns throughout his 40 years in college. His quickness and speed were incredibly valuable to the June Jones offense, and he also excelled as a return man. Emmanuel was so quick, he could even outrun defenders who approached him from the right angles. This made Sanders a huge threat every time he got his hands on the ball. As one of the top prospects of the time, it wasn't hard for Sanders to get scouted when the time came, and the Texas native was signed to the Pittsburgh Steelers as a third-round pick in the 2010 NFL Draft. Next, his Steelers career. As a Steeler, Emmanuel was quick to find out the pro league was much harder than college. Sanders was targeted 49 times as a rookie, receiving 28 passes for 376 yards and two touchdowns. This was undoubtedly a setback for the young receiver, but still respectable numbers for for a rookie. Overall, Sanders' time in Pittsburgh was underwhelming at best. While other Steelers draft picks like Wallace and Brown broke out as big playmakers in the league, Emmanuel struggled to stay healthy and just couldn't find his footing in the Haley offense. Then there was his time with the Broncos. Things would get much better for the rookie once he got signed by the Denver Broncos. The wide receiver spent six seasons in Denver from 2014 to 2019, amassing 5,361 yards and 28 touchdowns. He was selected to the Pro Bowl for the first time in 2014 when he had 1,404 receiving yards and a career-high nine receiving touchdowns. He was also named to the Pro Bowl in 2016. After this, Sanders was then traded to the San Francisco 49ers midway through the 2019 season, where he went on to win his third Super Bowl. He also played one season with the New Orleans Saints in 2020 before finishing his career with the Buffalo Bills last season. Sanders concludes his impressive career with a whopping 704 receptions, 9,245 yards, and 51 touchdowns, which makes him a likely contender for the NFL Hall of Fame. Following up, here's how close Emmanuel Sanders came to never being a Bronco. While the name Emmanuel Sanders has become synonymous with the Denver Broncos for the last six years, there was a time when that almost never happened. Just before retirement, the wide receiver revealed that about eight years and six months ago, he was actually super close to signing with the Kansas City Chiefs. As the story goes, Sanders became a free agent in 2014 after spending four years with the Pittsburgh Steelers. Now, apparently, the Chiefs were really interested in signing the wide receiver and called him up to their office. The rookie paid a visit to Kansas City in March of that year and had a talk with then-general manager John Dorsey and coach Andy Reid. Casey wanted to sign a four-year contract, but Sanders was looking for a three-year deal. When the Chiefs refused, the player ended up taking Denver's offer, but there was some sort of miscommunication that led Kansas to believe that Sanders had agreed to sign with them. All of this had to be cleared up later by the athlete's agents and had been effectively swept under the rug. Well, that is until Sanders himself revealed it all to the public. Next up, how did the NFL community react to Sanders' retirement. The wide receiver's decision to retire was met with a lot of love online. Many fans talked about their favorite moments from the athlete's career, while some expressed their disappointment that he didn't get to play his last season as a Bronco. The news was widely met with love and support online. A lot of us were honestly prepared for this well before the news broke, as Sanders had mentioned on multiple occasions that he didn't plan on coming back for the 13th season. The 35-year-old did not cite injuries or age as reasons for his retirement. He simply completed all of his goals and now wants to spend 
spend time with his family. Moving on, what's next for Sanders? It seems the recent retiree already has a job lined up. Emmanuel spent a lot of time honing his broadcasting skills, traveling to Los Angeles to speak as an analyst on NFL Network during the offseason. So it's reasonable to expect him to make that transition into broadcasting full-time after his retirement, while he'll likely find success not only because of his on-field expertise, but also his likable personality. Now, in other news. First up, Tom Brady has marriage problems. According to recent rumors, Tom Brady and Giselle Bündchen are at odds over the Tampa Bay Buccaneers quarterback's decision to return to the NFL for another season after announcing his retirement earlier this year. The sources suggest the decision has caused a lot of friction between the longtime couple. According to a person close to Brady, the 42-year-old Bündchen wasn't thrilled with her husband's decision to end his retirement from professional football only after two months. Rumors of a rift between the couple grew stronger after Brady asked for time off from training last month with the QB telling his coach he had to deal with some personal issues. Brady did eventually return to practice 11 days later. While addressing his absence, the quarterback explained that everyone has different situations to deal with and that he has a lot of going on. Oof. That certainly doesn't look like a good thing. Moving on, the NFL season starts off with a bang. The 2022 season of the NFL has started off hot with the defending Super Bowl champions, the Los Angeles Rams, going up against the Buffalo Bills. The Rams ended up losing their opening game 31-10. The score was a 10-10 tie at halftime, but the Bills took control of the game during the second half. Buffalo quarterback Josh Allen passed for 297 yards and three touchdowns, while Gabe Davis, Isaiah McKenzie, and Stephon Diggs each grabbed eight receptions to take home the victory for the Bills. Rams fans shouldn't start panicking just yet. This was the first game of the season, and there's still a lot of time to recover. Experts are certain that LA will even the record against the Atlanta Falcons on September 18th, but if the Rams lose this one too, then it's time to start rethinking their strategy. Finally, Lamar Jackson and the Ravens failed to reach an agreement. Lamar Jackson will enter the 2022 season without long-term security after failing to reach an agreement with the Baltimore Ravens on a contract extension. The team broke the news after months of negotiation with Jackson. Many people expected the franchise to cave into the quarterback's demands. However, the Ravens decided to put out a statement instead of trying to reach an agreement before the Friday deadline set by Jackson. Ravens general manager Eric DaCosta told the press, despite his best efforts on both sides, we were unable to reach a contract extension with Lamar Jackson. Details of the negotiation have not been discussed publicly, and it appears the rookie Jackson did not have an agent to sway public opinion by releasing details about an offer. Instead, the quarterback has taken the issue into his own hands and has been very vocal on Twitter, liking an edited image of himself in a Dolphin uniform and poking fun at his lack of a long-term deal. That's a wrap for this video. What's your favorite Emmanuel Sanders memory? Are you sad that he's retiring? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.